Welcome to the video tutorial of GreenCloud VPS. Today, we will show you how to install the Open Light Speed web server on Ubuntu 22.04. Before using Open Light Speed, you will need to install it. Begin by updating the Package Manager cache. Then install any pending upgrades. If prompted, enter your password, then confirm the installation. To enable this repository for your Ubuntu system, download and add the developer software signing key. Update the list of repositories to ensure that the newly added repository is scanned by the APT package manager. To install the Open Lit Speed server and the corresponding Light Speed PHP interpreter, run the command. If prompted, enter your password, then confirm the installation. Now that the Open Light Speed server is installed, you will secure it by updating the default administrator account. Before testing the server, you will set a new administrative password for Open Light Speed. You can do this by running a script provided by Open Light Speed. You will be asked to provide a username for the administrative user. If you press enter without choosing a new username, the default username admin will be used. You can use whatever administrative username you prefer. Then you will be prompted to create and confirm a new password for the account. Put in the administrative password you prefer, then press enter again. The script will confirm a successful update. You have now secured the admin account. Next, you will test the server to ensure it's running properly. In this step, you will connect to your server. Open light speed should have started automatically after it was installed. You can verify if it started with the following command. This command will print the following output. The active message indicates that open light speed is running. If your server is not running, you can start the server. The server should now be running. Press Ctrl C to exit the service output. Before visiting it in your browser, you will need to open some ports on your firewall, which you can achieve with the following command. The first port, 8088, is the default port for Open Light Speed's example site. After allowing it with UFW, it should now be accessible to the public. In your web browser, navigate to your server's IP address or domain name followed by 8088 to specify the port. Your browser will load the default Open Light Speed web page, matching the following. The links at the bottom of the page demonstrate various server features. When satisfied with the default site, you can move on to the administrative interface. In your web browser, navigate to your server's domain name or IP address using HTTPS and followed by 7080 to specify the port. You will likely see a page warning you that the SSL certificate from the server cannot be validated. Because this is a self-signed certificate, this message is expected. Click through the available options to proceed to the site. You will be prompted to enter the administrative username and password that you selected in the previous step. Once authenticated, you will be presented with the Open Light Speed Administration interface. In this step, you have connected to the server via newly opened ports. Next, you will update the port used by the default page. To demonstrate how to configure options through the web interface, you will change the port that the default site uses from 8088 to the conventional HTTP port, 80. Start by pressing listeners in the list of options on the side navigation bar. A list of all available listeners will load. From this list, click the magnifying glass, which is the view button, for the default listener. This action will load a page with more details about the default listener. Click the edit button in the top right corner of the address settings table to modify its values. This button will open a new screen. Change port 8088 to port 80, then click the save button. After saving the modification, you will need to restart the server. Click the arrow icon for the graceful restart action that will restart open light speed. If you are prompted to restart light speed, Press the Go button. 
The default web page should now be accessible in your browser on port 80 instead of port 8088. Visiting your server's domain name or IP address without providing a port number will now display the site.